Hello and welcome to Mystical Mondays. I am Anna Raimondi, your host, coming to you from Connecticut. Today I'd like to talk about raising your spiritual vibration. So raising your spiritual vibration refers to elevating your state of consciousness and spiritual energy. We operate at different frequencies and certain behaviors or practices can help us to raise these frequencies so that we're at a higher frequency. The highest frequency is God. So this will lead us to improve well-being, a sense of inner peace, a deeper connection with other people, and a deeper connection to God. So what do you do to raise this up? Mindfulness and meditation. It's important to pay attention to all things in your life. So if that means paying attention to what you're eating as you walk, pay attention to what's around you, stay in the moment. The same thing for meditation. It helps you quiet your mind and allow for a highest sense of consciousness and spirituality to emerge. As you're doing these specific things, keep in mind that you need to incorporate mindfulness into your everyday activities and be present. Try to make a routine of this on a daily, ba on a daily basis. Stay in a positive mindset. Affirmations, use positive affirmations every day that will support your higher vibrational life. Affirmations like I am at peace, I am connecting to divinity will help you and can be very effective. Try to surrender your emotional wounds up to God and practice acts of forgiveness and compassion to people who are good to you and people who per perhaps have hurt you. Stay away from negativity. And that involves television. Television is toxic. Instead of watching television, read a book. Read something spiritual. Have a conversation with somebody about their spirituality and your spirituality and how you connect. TV is full of just horrible things, crime and killing. These are not the things we want to bring into our lives. Eat well. So you're eating consciously and mindfully, but put the right kinds of foods into your body. Keep in mind that animals also carry energy. So as you eat chicken or beef, you're also bringing in their energy and how they were slaughtered into your body. And I say that I am not a vegetarian, but I'm very conscious of what I'm eating. And sometimes before I eat, I give blessings to the animals. So try to do that as well. Certain toxins can lower your vibration, drugs and alcohol. If it's at an excess, it tends to lower your vibration. Water raises your vibration. It's cleansing and it brings you to a higher level. Spend time outdoors, connecting with nature, seeing the beauty and the miracles in nature. It's wonderful to be in a spot that you know was created for all of us. Look at the mountains, the lakes, Look at your own backyard, the green grass. Be in the sun. The sun is so energizing and it brings to us vitamin D, which is good for our emotional and mental health. Allow spiritual practices to be a part of your life, such as reading uplifting literature, or spiritual literature, 
educating yourself about certain things that are spiritual that you're attracted to will also help to raise your vibration. It's very important that you stay in an artistic space because that comes from the soul. So painting, cooking, singing, music, create. It comes from your soul and allow that to raise your vibration. Keep in mind your relationships also raise your vibration. If you're in a relationship that's toxic, move out of it. You need to be with people who are supporting you as they raise their own vibration. And you need to be around people who uplift you, who love you. Their energy will resonate with yours. And the more you raise your vibration, more and more people with similar vibration will be attracted to you. Make decisions that align with your values and your broader spiritual go goals. Live uncluttered, your home, your office, your car. Keep things simple. And so nothing gets in the way of you moving into that highest frequency. Take care of yourself. And that includes resting and sleep. We all need to sleep. We all need to rest. Maybe you want to journal and write down as you raise your spiritual vibration, how you feel and who by the laws of attraction you're attracting into your life because you will see that. Gratitude, always be thankful. Always be thankful for the universe to helping you on this path. And always be compassionate and kind to not only human beings, but to animals. We are all creatures of the divine. Raising your vibration is unique and personal to you that encompasses every way of your life. It's part of your spiritual journey. It's about what resonates with you. And as you're seeking to live a balanced life, you will find what is in harmony with your inner self and the universe at large. Always remember consistency is key. Through regular practices, you will see small changes and you will know that you have reached a higher vibration. It may not happen overnight. You may not feel that it's happening overnight, but it will happen. God bless you on your journey. And I will be connecting with you on my next episode of Mystical Mondays. God bless.